As a result of this new focus on measures of the product itself, the, the measure of the structural capability of the product, the structural engineering of the product, we need to start collecting that data and capture it in repositories so we can do research. Uh, CAS has been working very hard to collect lots of analyses, structural analyses of applications into a large repository called AppMark. Uh, and AppMark contains this, the, the body of data from all these various analyses. Right now we have 745 applications where we've, we've done a complete analysis. We have all the data, we have all the metrics uh, in the database that regards the analysis of those various applications. And it provides us an extraordinary opportunity to do research on the structural analysis of software. Uh, up to now, the academic researchers at the universities doing research on stru the structural issues in software have had to use open source, and so most of what we know about structural, uh, structural quality is from open source systems. Now those are unique in that they tend to be much higher quality than industrial applications uh, because the control of who's actually allowed to add code into the system is very tight. Uh, you've got some of the very best developers doing the work. Uh, and so we don't really get a, a full picture of the structural quality of your average business application uh, by looking at open source projects. So AppMark now becomes very important and the AppMark database has applications that run from anywhere from 10,000 lines of code up to 11 million. Uh, so we, and these are written in languages like COBOL and ABAP and Java and C and .NET and so it's a broad range of different types of applications. We have them from 10 different industry segments, uh, all the way from banking and insurance to telecom to manufacturing, even government. Uh, so it's a very broad base of the world's industrial applications uh, that provides us an extraordinary opportunity to do research to understand uh, major issues in structural engineering. In addition, this database provides an extraordinary opportunity for for companies to come back and do benchmarking. This now gives them a way to benchmark against their industry segment, uh, against the kinds of technologies they're using, and to get a picture of where their applications are in relation to similar types of applications collected from other companies on other continents. Uh, so we're very excited about the AppMark database. It's really a, a whole new area of research and benchmarking, value to the, the academic community, value to the business community. Uh, and we can, we're going to continue to grow this. It's 745 applications now. It'll be in the thousands in the next year or two. So we're, uh, we're very excited about the possibilities that is, this offers both the research community and the business community.